We're going to use some silica which has been sprayed onto an aluminium sheet. This is called a TLC plate. We use the properties of the silica and the properties of a solvent to draw the compounds up the plate at differing rates depending on the characteristics of the compound. First of all we need to make a TLC spotter. Heat the centre of a capillary tube in the blue cone of a micro Bunsen burner flame. Rotate the tube gently to ensure it's heated evenly and when it starts to give, take the tube out of the flame, leave it for a split second and then sharply pull out both ends of the capillary to form a very fine tube. Allow this to cool and then snap the tube to produce two spotters. We've drawn a pencil line at the bottom of the plate with three marks on. We're going to spot one of the samples on the left hand spot and the other on the right hand spot. We've put a spot of each compound on the middle co-spot so we can compare their RFs. We need to put the solvent into the chromatography tank to a depth of 3 to 4 millimetres. Usually you'll be told what solvent to use. Put the plate into the tank and put the lid on. You'll see there's a piece of filter paper in the chromatography tank, which is a beaker. This helps to saturate the atmosphere with solvent vapours. Once the solvent front has got to the top of the plate, remove the lid, take the plate out and draw a line where the solvent front is so you can work out your RF values. There are a few ways to visualise TLC plates. If the compounds are UV active, you can see spots of the compound under a UV lamp. Use a pencil to circle the spots. A range of chemical dips can be used which react with certain functional groups producing a colour change, for example potassium permanganate.